What's going on, everybody? It's Davey from the 80s, and you're now entering the Cinema Chop Shop, so park your ass right there. While you're there, don't forget to hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. Also, if you check the link below, you'll see a Patreon account. If you click, you become a member. All you got to do is try recommend movies and music and trailers for me to react to, so click the damn link. Now, with that being said, we are here to just give a quick little update. Now, I found something very curious that I ran across uh, actually yesterday. So, I ran across on the Fandango app. When you type, like I was looking at just upcoming movies or whatever, and I saw Salem's Lot 2023, April 21st. The, 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 the release date was Friday, April 21st, 2023. Now, if you guys know about anything about this, you know that Salem's Lot was announced to release last year, and then it got pushed to this year, and then it got pushed indefinitely into a time unknown. Now, here's the thing. Uh, it does uh, get tickets now, but at the same time, uh, truth be told, you that was the the second release date when it got pushed last year to this year. That was April twenty first was the release date that they originally announced. So I think it's just an error on the AMC or Fandango app uh, because all the we all the any website that you go to that you can buy tickets on. If you look up this movie, you can see it, but Fandango is the only one that actually has a date of. April 21st of this year, right? What's the possibility of that happening? I don't know. To be honest with you, they pushed it indefinitely from that date, but that's around the time that Evil Dead Rises comes out. And I don't think that this movie wants to compete with that. Especially because A, we have no trailer. B, we have no official release date. Now, here's the thing. Uh, when you go to hbomax.com and you look up the movie, you will also notice that it says Salem's Lot and it says coming soon, spring of 2023. And this is on the HBO Max app. Now, we all know that HBO is uh at Warner Brothers or whatever, there's been a lot of changing of the changing of uh ideas and changing of leadership and changing of people in charge. And a lot of people were worried that Salem's Lot is getting lost in that shuffle. Me personally, I think that yes, it is um there's a high probability that Salem's Lot is definitely getting lost in that shuffle. But here's the problem though. I know for a fact that this movie is complete. You know what I'm saying? Like this movie for sure, for sure is complete. Uh it was started filming in like late what 2021. You know what I'm saying? And I know for a fact that there were screeners of this movie last year. So I'm saying like what I'm thinking and I may be wrong is that they don't think that this movie is going to make any money. And I think that either A, they're hesitant to put it on HBO Max or B, they are trying to shit like they're trying to sell it to somebody. I think there's a possibility that they are trying to shop this movie to somebody. Now, you know, because there's no other reason for why this movie is taking this long to be released. There's like no logical reason for it. And me personally, what I said in my last review is that I believe there's no disrespect to Salem's Lot or Stephen King or anybody like that, but I think that this property. It's going to be hard to sell to people. Uh, and I'm not talking about like a studio because the studio will pick it up quick, right? Like Netflix. Netflix buys every fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? A shutter will buy any fucking thing. You know, so I don't think shopping it is going to be a hard thing, but you want to make your money back. You get what I'm saying? So you want to make sure that whatever deal you get is very lucrative. Now, do I believe that this is going to HBO Max? Most likely because, again, on the HBO Max website, it says coming spring 2023, right? So they have not updated that. They have not changed it. It just, there's no date on there. It's just saying spring. So we know that there's a possibility that this movie can come out this year. I, I believe in my heart that this movie is going straight to streaming. Why do I believe that? Is because, like I said last time, um, I don't think that this movie has the ability, like off of name alone. I don't think it's a strong enough property in order to make money. Like, I don't think this is a lucrative name. I don't think that this not franchise, but this is not a lucrative property. Um, it may make some money, but I, if they were to throw that in the movie theater, 
it is definitely not going to generate as much money as they think it's going to generate. I personally think that they would probably just break even with uh, whatever they would make in the movie theaters. Uh, simply because, again, this is not, this is a, it's a good property. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, like, we don't, we just don't know. Like, it's, I don't think that, I can't see it. I just, I just can't see it. Right. And we have some people that are announced, uh, Dr. Cody. Okay. So there are some, you know, according to like what I'm looking at at the casting right now, there are some uh, gender and race swaps of characters. And, you know, I know people aren't really fond of that, but again, uh, I don't really find that to be really the, the end all be all per se. Right. Just, I just need to know, is the movie scary? Does it got some dope ass kills? Is it going to look anything like the original? Are they going to have practical effects and things like that? Like, I just don't want a, a CGI written film. But the, again, the fact that this movie is more than likely done and has been sitting on the shelf for like a whole damn year is eyebrow raising, right? It's very eyebrow raising. And the fact that they are hesitant to even put a release date on it is telling me that they're probably trying to shop this movie. Now, I don't know who they're shopping it to, right? But there's there has to be something that they don't have faith in this movie. I don't think the screeners, whatever screeners that they had, I don't think they I don't think they got good feedback from these screeners. And I don't think that it, it made them have faith in this movie. Now I have read nothing, absolutely nothing about reshoots, right? Nothing at all. So I don't think reshoots are a thing. I think they're trying to shop it as is to different studios and in, in hopes to try to stream it. That's just my assumption because there's no reason why this movie is sitting on the shelf so long because as Warner Brothers has that deal with HBO Max, you could just go drop it on there and just be done with it. But again, it's kind of strange that we have this long gap in between the announcement of this project and then it getting pushed to this year and then getting pushed out indefinitely. Kind of crazy that we've heard absolutely nothing about it. Kind of crazy that we have... We have no trailer from it other than the trailer, I believe, that was released at um, uh, CinemaCon. There was a brief... It wasn't even a trailer, dude. It was a teaser. There was a teaser that was released at CinemaCon over a year ago in Vegas, I believe. And we've heard absolutely nothing from it since then. And I mean, yeah, people were ranting and raving saying that that was a dope-ass trailer. But at the same time, doesn't matter what a couple hundred people think. And also these couple hundred movie hundred people are movie buffs, right? So you have to take into account that not everybody is a movie buff buff, right? Not everybody has the mentality of somebody that would go to a convention called CinemaCon, right? These are movie heads, right? So you have to think general audiences. Does this movie like does it communicate to general audiences? Can it translate? Can that translate into revenue? Because this is what we're talking about here. It's all about making money, man. If it ain't making money, it ain't making sense. So let's see what happens from here. But this is, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I just noticed that yesterday, I kind of actually forgot about this damn movie. But yeah, so that made me remember because again, it was on Fandango's upcoming list. It was like Evil Dead Rises, Salem's Lot 2023. And I was like, what? That's, that's still coming out. And what I had to do was I had to kind of like reverse engineer <laughs> And go and check, okay, what was the release date originally supposed to be after it got pushed? And the date that they have is the date that got pushed for the release date. Now, again, for HBO Max, though, that's something different. Because that date says spring 2023. So, we'll see what happens there. It got that. That's definitely an update. That's something... A little bit new, but let me let me know in the comment section down below. Is this really a movie that you yourself would want to pay to go see? Or has the hype for this movie and it getting pushed out so far? Has that made you hesitant to want to watch this movie? Has it made you second guess about checking this movie out? Because that's another factor that can honestly lead a crowd astray. Like a crowd will be like, yo, you pushing this movie too back too far too many times. Like I've already lost interest. Have you guys lost interest? And even seeing this damn movie. Let me know in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts? And that's just me giving you guys a quick little update. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And you are now exiting the Cinema Chop Shop. Hope you guys are having a magnificent day. And adios, homies.